Bye bye.
last night it was the first night that I felt sleep and my children too. So for us, for the first time that we feel somehow safe, you know, we don't feel safe during the last month. And um, last night it was like, you know, it's like brief for us that we are here and uh, we are safe with our family. No words can explain exactly what's going on in Gaza. What's going on in Gaza, it's a genocide. The Israeli bomb bombed everywhere, like they are killing civilians without any warning. And most of the casualty there, they are civilians, they are children, they are women. I lost my aunt with her children, with the, her daughters and the, the, their siblings. So all of them, they were killed and they waited for two days to, to pull them out from the rubble of the homes. Just two days before I arrived here, we lost uh, three, uh, four cousins also, and still some of them under the rubble of the home. My mom, she's 72, she's unable to walk and they want them to walk, just to walk, to go to the south. And it's like a journey for four or five hours, maybe. I don't think that there is any words can explain my feeling now, especially that I know that my family is still under the, the, the bombing and the attack from the Israeli without any mercy. A whole part of me is still stuck in Gaza and, uh, and another part here with my children. 